morgenen. So I finally managed to get a grip of reality at about 12 o'clock. I done that thing you do when you're worried you're going to sleep in. I set about 45 alarms 5 minutes apart. So my phone just buzzed continuously for about an hour and a half. But we got up eventually. Ironically enough it was the neighbour's dog howling that woke me up. Not the alarms right next to my head. But never mind. Fucking hell man. What is this vile monstrosity? George that one Scottish guy has a woman? Oh. I think I can have fun with this face up. So there's Marley 13. There's an old Marley 13. And there's Marley 13 if it was a woman. <laughs> That's supposed to be man, but eh, not much changes. I just had unknown error 13 when updating saving in the video, unable to save finished thumbnail. That's what the issue is. Do I need to change the thumbnail or something? Can I just take a brief moment to say thanks to everybody who's been commenting down below watching all the daily videos? I really do appreciate it. I don't always have time to reply to every comment because I'm usually doing something or doing something but I do read every single comment through my phone so even if I don't reply you know that I still have read your comment Do you remember how I told you my son was a massive fan of Dan TDM? Well we had to go out and buy him the Dan TDM book I mean... <sighs> Dan TDM is one of the world's top YouTubers That's some bloody claim to make on the very first page of your book innit? I mean I've never watched any of your content, I'm not a fan I wouldn't have went out my way to say you were the top YouTuber I mean, I'd rather watch a Cruiser livestream or a Marley 13 video over Dan TDM. So for me, it's not the size of the channel that's important, it's what you do with it. Oh wait, was that something else? Anyway, the sun is splitting the sky between all the clouds somewhere, so you know what time it is. It's time for a cycle to the Kelpies. Here, by the way, if you have a Twitter and you didn't already follow me, make sure to jump down in the description and follow my Twitter. I'm going to be answering Q&A questions on Twitter in a future video. So if you want me to answer a question in a future video, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Around the area I live, there's this large kind of cycle track area. It effectively goes all the way around, up to the canal, through Larbert Camlin, back down to the Kelpies. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'm going to go for a cycle. What the hell is that wamp? So I did a short cycle and I came round to visit my brother. Folly energy edition. He's just told me about some mad hatter scheme that he's got to try and set up his cupboard as a gaming cupboard. He wants to put this set up in here. Good luck getting all that cleared out. I don't even think a skip would help with that job. The arch nemesis of the world. The swan. Everyone's favourite enemy. Look at that look in his eyes. I mean, didn't get me wrong, I don't hate swans. I just think they're evil. You can look in their eyes and you just see the darkness. No matter what I do, the Kelpies are never too far away. And let's be honest, every cycle route in Falkirk leads back to them. So they're pretty hard to avoid. There's another bee flying about. I've got to watch these things. I've got a better one. It's not the be-all and end-all. I know they're getting worse. get the idea, some clips of the Kelpies, some music underneath it. We all pretend that Batchy knows what he's talking about when it comes to artistic shots and we move on. Hold your breath, we're going past the sewage box again. Oh, smells like Big Gary dropped one. I'm no back at my mum's house, honestly. I swear to God. That was an incredibly feeble attempt at a pun, trying to state that my mum's a cow. And... Uh, eh. Pretty bad, I'm sorry. Also, the tide's quite low in this water here, so you can see all sorts of things. This would be the ideal time to come back and see if you've lost anything in the water. Like, say, for example, your best shopping trolley. Shopping trolleys are those weird things, aren't they? I mean, they turn up in all sorts of places. We're currently in the middle of nowhere, miles for any shop. It must detain somebody some real dedication to get a trolley all the way out here. Then what, for you just to chuck it in the water and that'd be the end of it? I mean, come on, you're wasting your potential there, pal. Why is there egg all over the floor? I understand the concept of throwing eggs and stuff like that, but I mean, what's the point of throwing them on the floor? So I've not really done anything to this video for the last couple of hours, I've had a pretty unproductive evening. Well, I say unproductive, I've actually started writing the special episode of Grown Up Scottish, which is going to be the 16th video. So I said I was going to do 16 daily videos, 15 of them are going to be vlogs, and then the last one is going to be the special episode of Grown Up Scottish. 
That's all the sneak peek you're getting. You'll have to wait until the 16th day to see it. I want to do a quick shout out to the Create Scotland Discord server. For those of you who don't know, I run this Discord server for creators in Scotland. It's going to be linked in the description. Make sure to jump down and check it out. I highly suggest you do. There'll be some announcements coming and things like that on there about stuff, about events and me going and meetups and yeah, I'm not really going to say too much just now, but there'll be stuff coming in the future. You didn't need me to spoon feed you this information. The Twitter's in the description, the server's in the description. Just days your tilt. It's like the back of living now. I've not really done anything today. I did a bit of cycling earlier on and then I started writing that video. J just been admiring the beach. It's a nice sea view from my council flat in Falkirk. Do you know what I find really funny? Is whenever you see a runner, you automatically assume that they're being chased after the polis. Because why else in Scotland would you have a purpose to run? Training to run for the polis or actually running for the polis is about the only two practices I can think of. Well, it's either that or your pals ran away with your drink, you know what I mean? I'm toying with the idea of bringing back some gameplay videos, like I used to do a kind of funny moment series on Grand Theft Auto called Grand Theft Scotland. I'm thinking about doing stuff like that but on different games. Why don't you let me know in the comments section what you think of that idea? Is that the kind of stuff you'd be interested in watching? It's not something I'm going to do regularly, but just now and again something to do, you know? <coughs> well, today's video's been pretty short, I'm not going to lie. Tomorrow's will be a little shorter as well. Got a bit of things to do tomorrow. However, Friday, on the other hand, that's Saturday's video to you, is going to be interesting. Meeting up with some of the guys again to go and do something in Glasgow, so that should be an interesting video for you. Make sure to stay tuned for that on Saturday. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 7 pm. Alright, fuck it, I'm going in. For the next daily video. I never said I'm the nicest guy in the world, but I'd rather die for my girl. I'ma buy her diamonds and pearls. And that don't mean that she's materialistic. I know she fell in love with me, cause I'm a lyrical misfit. We stare in the whip and the sunshine and cheering and singing. He's saying, I'm in love with the shape of you.